Hi, welcome all of you, Nana here. And then we are into the next day's program on this uh, supplier qualification management. So I made some modification to the yesterday's one to make it uh, more understandable, actually. So let me go on and show me what, how I have done it. So open up your uh, additional docs records for there I have made uh, the latest file number. So 74 SQM screenshots I made. So double So I made this screenshot today. So we have nine questions which have been created. The third question is basically internal. Fine, the compliance will be reviewed by our internal responder. He is, he is going to respond it. Be responding it apart from this, this very question. And we have three qualification areas QA, we call them. So every qualification area will be having an outcome also. So the first one is a compliance. The compliance has got a code of conduct. In a code of conduct, the supplier has to say that they agree or abide by our code of conduct. And then if they don't do it, what happens is that they may even be rejected. So it's a very important one. This is how Oracle has written it. So you may even love to have this code of conduct in your SQM for your end client actually. It's an excellent one. Only thing is the attachments and other things will be varying. But uh, only thing, the main uh, concept is same, code of conduct. And then uh, he has to attach a file also regarding how he's going to oblige our, uh, what's called our terms and conditions and other things. No? And then uh, it will be reviewed by an internal uh, reviewer, internal responder. And then he will also go to attach it. So the very compliance is a very important part of it. This you can, it's a visions one. And then you can even very well uh, copy this into your client's location also. And then this will be having an outcome. And this will be having an outcome. So the, the what's called the internal responder will now review the attached file. And then he will now say whether he is fully compliant or compliant with exceptions or out of compliance. So it's a manual outcome. He is going to give an output outcome. So qualification outcomes are manual actually for the QA one. So he will now choose one of them. And then if it is out of compliance, probably he will not be shortlisted at all by that. SQM admin. SQM admin is the final one will be shortlisting. So you may not be shortlisting. So this is for the QA1. And the next is QA2. In the QA2, what happens? We have one ISO certification. And then it has got uh, three such things now. Right? Uh, whether you have you're, you're got ISO certification or in progress or no. So I'm not going to give a value of around, uh, say, in process. So here it is all automatic. The scoring is automatic. Here all the things are manual actually. Here the outcome is manual. Here the outcome is automatic actually. And the Forbes sustainability list, as we have seen, and then obviously, exactly, you know, added these things. And then for the QA2, what happens? The output will be automatically done. So you will now see that once when the supplier answers these three questions, he will be probably in the uh, above average range, actually. So the QA2, what happens? I have added this uh, extra text also into my now. Right? So QA2 will be average. This is an automatic one. QA1 is manual, whereas QA2 is automatic. Then the QA3 is financial viability. This will come only when the supplier chooses what? Your P01 small business or Indian business or whatever it is. If he is choosing it, then this will come. Otherwise, it will not come. Down. So on the normal one, it is not a, what happens? It's not a normal one. Uh, so on the normal rule, it is not there. But on a conditional branching, it will be coming. So we have a CFA revenue as well as a public company. So here, what happens? It's again manual. So here, what happens? The QA3 is manual. Remember, the outcomes are given by the SQM admin. SQM admin is going to give an outcome. Right? Only for the number two, it is automatic. For one and three, SQM admin will be giving you the outcomes of the uh, what's called analysis lecture. Final models. So apart from that, after the three qualification areas, he will be giving a model outcome also. The model also will be given an outcome. So model will be having a compliance for which what happens, he will not rate them with a five star or a four star or three star or something like that. So if he is giving a, what happens, a one star, it will be giving you a warning and that it will allow you to source also. Whereas if it is a uh, avoid means 60 means what if you know doing it, then what happens? It will be uh, debarred from sourcing it. So in this case, purchase officer will not uh, uh, choose the supplier for getting an RFQ or an RFI or an option. Right. So that if you go there, it will not even come in the list of values. Right. That will be automatic. Mm -hmm. right. So this way it works. Right. Yeah. So the thing. So we will now see all these things over here, one by one. <clears throat> so uh, now we will now begin with our activity. So go there. We will now go to what 
Click on it, go to the setup and maintenance. <clears throat> Go there, go to the search and then go to the configure procurement business function. Configure procurement business. Go to the configure procurement business function. Click on it. So go there. You know, drop down and then choose our BU. We have a P01 BU, which is being created. Thank you. Now, and then click on it. now, we are going to copy this link and then give it to the supplier to register by himself. So go there. So the spend authorized. So prospective supplier link is a lab access for you. You can do it now. I'm not going to use a spend authorized supplier registration. So this link will be given. So I'm not just straight away clicking on this. Link. So this link will be opening up on the new tab region, and then you can now see the URL over here. Right? It has got a BU ID also along with it. So he is now going to, I have already tested for up to five. I will not go on and do what sixth one. Right? So underscore six. So go there and then drop it down and then make it in the population. Supply type, I will not make. We have already made one thing, my P01 small business. I'm going to give it a point. So come corporate website. Right? Now, not in, not in consultants. And then I will not do the six person, I will not put one. Ananta six and then Nana six. Right? This becomes the username now, right? First name dot last name is the username. I will not go there. I will not give the email at the time. I will not say apps dot nana email. I am not giving email. Real estate email. Take off it and then click on the confirmation. So go to the done done digit done must be a nine digit number actually. Fine, here nine digit fine. One and two, one and all, two or eight, 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 eight. Fine, nine digit is wrong. Tax county is United States. Tax county is United States. Registered supplier. Company details. Okay. Yeah. What is it? I I couldn't understand. What What are you telling? I'm not giving some taxpayer ID so that what happens? It doesn't duplicate all the time. Yesterday we have seen that when you are giving one, two, three, four up to nine, it is already occupied by somebody, and so it's not accepting it. So here also I'll not give some. No, no. I'm going to string new supplier. Yeah, we are registering a new supplier. Six supplier. So yeah. as per the document you should have shown, we are repeating the process again. Yes, exactly. We are now repeating the process again. So we are going to repeat the process because yesterday's is all completed. So I did it and then completed it. So I'm not repeating the process. So he will not write, say, we are the best, <coughs> we are the best laptop supplier. We are repeating the process. So click on next now, fine. So you know, giving it, this note will be uh, set to the approvals also. So click on next. Go to the next, and then we'll be coming to the contact area. So the contact gets automatically copied from the company details. If required, you can even add additional contacts also. So click on next number. I'm going to get the address. Now I'm going to get the address. Now click on plus one. Let me create the address. So that will be created. So address name is what? P01 uh, underscore sub. Yeah. Please, again, if you're not talking, again, please mute now. Mute your phone. So if you're not talking, please mute your phone. Country is United States. And then address is what I will not say P01 underscore uh, address six. I will not put that postal code 10020 and then give it a tap. The one and check out Go to this place. So here I will not say contacts, uh, address contact, right? ordering and remit to I'm enabling it now. Ordering and remit, I'm enabling it. And then go there, go to the actions. And then go to select map. And then choose it, click on apply, and then click on OK. By which the address is now getting created. So click on X now, and we go to the business classification. So if you go there, go to actions and go to add a role. And then I will now choose something now. And then if you go to the questionnaire, your financial viability will not be coming. Go to the questionnaire. You can go on and see. The financial viability will not be coming. When the compliance and environment is coming, finance is not coming. If you go to the business classification, that is how the rule set has been written now. Drop it down. I will not choose what our uh, P01 laptop business. So if I choose this, what happens? The financial viability we have. On a conditional branching, what happens? One more questionnaire is getting added. So go to this place. And this is an additional one, remember? On the main rule set, we have only these two. And then the additional one just come because of the business classification. Go there. Certifying agency, I will not say <coughs> others. Consultants. 
and the certification number is 123321. Start date is 1121. Normally, certificates will be expiring on a date. I will not say month is what's called, but then 31, and then it's not expired in two years actually. And then we will normally have attachment also, and certification will be having an attachment. The certificate itself will be attached maybe sometimes. So, Nana, one question. Tell me. As per yesterday's session, we were not able to get the notification on the internal yeah. responder. Yeah, yeah. So uh, today it's solved. Oh. I don't know how it has got solved, but it has got solved. So now what we are doing? Nana? We are again doing the registration of a supplier. Actually, yesterday it didn't came. Only after forty-five minutes it came for me. Now it's coming faster. Got it? Okay. So that's why I'm not registering again. So click on the notes now. I will now give an attachment. The, normally, what happens is the notes also. <clears throat> you know, say certification notes. So, click on. so the things are now completed. Click on the bank accounts. Remember, if the supplier is registering, bank account is a mandatory one. But when we are registering, bank account is not mandatory. And then his bank has to be available in the system actually. Whatever bank is that, that has to be available. Otherwise, it will not work at all. So, we have to talk to them orally and then uh, get to the details of his bank and branch. Bank and branch must be available in this place. It's a BOFA. <clears throat> BOFA is a bank. And the branch is New York. And then account number. Thank you so much. So, that it doesn't clash with others. Account name. <clears throat> he is a supplier, actually. Fine. You will know, say Rohit Computers. So, that's how he has registered in this bank. So he is having a current account on this name now. And the currency is USD. And then the IBAN number, if you know it, you can provide it. Otherwise, you can leave it blank. And this note doesn't come anywhere. <clears throat> if you write it, I don't know where to see this. I don't know. Maybe it will be available only for the financial stream or not. I'm not sure about it. So this note. But that note, uh, whatever he has written now, he has a laptop supply. That is very visible for him. So click on OK. Now, by which he has now completed this note. So it's all done. You know, go to the products and services, and then you know, add the products. Click on actions, and then go to select and add. And then go there. You will know, add the product. Ah, that is my here. Expand it. I will not say laptop is a product. Right? You know, expand the free stations. Is a pre station over there. The printers, you know, say. So you'll have multiple products. You will not say whatever he's having it. So you'll add it. So he will not try to add the maximum, basically. Fine. It is our responsibility to add all the categories, whatever is available. So otherwise, you will have a generic category in which he will make the others, he will be adding it. Actually. So people don't like it. Because once when you advertise his products, it will be great, actually. No adding it. Now we'll go to the questionnaire. So the first one is a compliance. Do you agree to the attached supplier code of contact? So we'll be having a code of contact of a company. So that will be attached. And then that he has to uh, comply. You know, normally, we'll not say yes. If he says no, he is likely to be rejected. Remember, thank you, no fine. And then he has to attach his response also to our code of contact. So click on plus no fine. We'll be giving an attachment. So click on actions. And then click on add. Now we'll be responding back. You know, choose a file. We'll be adding. So I'll now put one attachment. No, you know, so there's no, he is not attaching the code of contact. Fine, for it. And remember, uh, when the, yeah. Sir, I have one doubt. Uh, can we go to the products and services? How, whatever we have created in our system uh, will be. Uh, uh, we have created uh, this, not fine? With the yeah, look, we, have created created it. It. Uh, huh? we have created it, but how uh, this will be visible for them? Because their products they have to no. attach. See, right? They have to be in line with our, our categories only. It's not a product name, it's a category name. Okay. Actually, that's the supplier category Nana has created. So that's yeah, of course, you only have to discuss and then create all the categories. Yeah. Okay. See, no, there may be some fine suppliers are there. So you have to, what I was saying, inject will be a common name. Basically. You may have a different type of inject printer models, HP and then IBM or whatever it is. So category is basically a generic name for all the products. Basically. Okay. Nana, now we are doing registration with PG1 underscore EMP1. EMP, EMP1 only. So he yeah, is the yeah. owner actually. He is the SKM owner. Remember, yeah. on the free station, yeah. we already created number. I will not right click on the duplicate number. So let us now finish up on the I don't want to disturb this number. 
I will not have a take a copy of it. Somebody asked me that whether he, the, the, here I'm not getting PC EMP one and all. Fine. If you put in a different browser, it will not come. Fine. Let me submit it and then I will not show it. I'll take a copy. So go there. So this is the one, and then he is now answering it as a response also. Remember the internal responder is also going to give a response with the attachment action. Fine. He also has to give a response with the attachment. So click on next session. First session is complete. In environmental sustainability is nowadays becoming a big problem. Everybody has to do it. So in which what happens? I am not going to give a in process for the first one. Fine, go there. And then I am unable to see a score. No, fine. That is where we will not try to identify where exactly see a score. No, fine. It is twenty five percent of seventy actually. And then here it is going to twenty. It is going to be ten. Fine, go there. So twenty plus thirty, and then it's twenty five plus uh, twenty five percent of seventy. The whole score is an automatic scoring basically. So this has to be visible, and I don't know where exactly it will be visible actually. This this portion is not clear to me. Will not make an R and D on this. So second portion is coming. This is an additional one because of the business uh, classification. This has got added now. So click on next section. Come here for next session, and then we are going to do this one time. So he is saying, what happens if you go say twenty lakhs? It will not accept at all. So it is a numeric value, and so uh, it is a number actually. So yesterday we have seen that the number and give a number of point for that. And then if your business is a public company, he says no, it is not a public company. I think you are. In this case, what happens? Uh, not a public company. That is okay. Fine, company need not be a public company. Right? So he is now saying whether the NDA is required or non-disclosure agreement is required. Or if an NDA is required, we will contact you. Okay, so yes, we will not say. And then we have to give a attachment also. So I click on it. So response attachment is also required. We will not give a response. Some attachment is required. So he has to uh, do uh, whatever is there as per our requirement. ऑर्डर The vision has created it. Fine, Oracle's vision's demo database has created all these things. Fine, one of which compliance is a good one actually. You may even love to have this compliance because it is now asking you to what happens? Ask the supplier to abide by our code of conduct. Fine, and then the internal responder is also going to respond back whether he has abide, uh, he has done by it or not. Otherwise, he may even reject it. The SQM admin may even reject it if the compliance is not proper actually. So. Oracle has uh, taken something like this, and then on a, on an environmental, then uh, something, something, something. I can't remember. They have taken it, but uh, everywhere, everything will not be available. I remember writing the questions, and then writing your qualification areas, and writing your model, and then your rule set is all practical, basically. So it is just an example. Fine. So with this guidelines, you have to go and then configure your end end clients. Uh, this thing, you know. it may be a chemical, it may be better chemical, it may be sugar. So there may be different type of industries. Every industry will be having a different type of process. I've already told you about how the process will be, and so we are doing. That's it. And click on register now. This is all Vision's demo database uh, examples. Maybe click on register. Not that everything, every company will be following this one. And you only have to discuss with them on that design. And remember, working on a SQM is a really, a really tough job. You have, if you don't have a domain experience, you will have it. Now, right? You will be finding it difficult to what happens to frame the questions as well as your qualification areas, your outcomes, everything. So click on register. So you know he is now registering it. So what about the registration request or something? So the first activity is what the supply the approver has to approve. Now I have taken a copy of this. I will now go there, click on it. I will now open up another browser and then I will now paste it. So now paste it away. You want to paste it away? Once you paste it, now the system will now look like this for the supplier actually. So the URL is given. It will now look like this. Right from the top, you will not be having the EMP zero one and all. EMP zero one, EMP one, all. So once when it is done, he himself can sign in also. And remember, if he is leaving halfway, it will be sending the entire thing to his email ID. Whatever he has given an email ID, whatever it will be communicated back to him, and then he can even restart it because this may need a lot of things. For example, here he has to what happens in the business classifications, he has to attach a certificate. So he is now have to talk to the certifying agencies and then get it everything. So he will no need time. So he can even save for later. The save for later. Will now send the entire whatever he has filled up. The filled the half filled sheets will be sent to the email, and then he can even click on the link, and then he can even continue on. And somebody was asking another question about this. Okay. And then here again, I have now given all the questions over here now. Supply qualification questions. I have taken it. I have, I have downloaded the questions. Whatever is available on the vision now. Okay. So this will now give you a good idea about how to write the questions. It will be a good idea 
So if there are more than 160 persons are there, just watch it and then see. Uh, some of them may be meeting many industries. The commission has already taken a lot of things and then uh, uh, they have uh, what was, uh, done it actually. Uh, so you can use it and then you can uh, so, uh, what about the training date. Uh, this you can give a guideline actually, how the things are done. So this is an excellent guideline actually. So this one, you can use it, okay? you make it as a reference document. <clears throat> And now it has been submitted. So it has been submitted. So now what happens? We will now go and then approve it. Actually. We'll go there, click on approve. We'll go to the approval. So, we'll go to the place. so we are given what EMP3 as approver actually. So we will now go there and then approve it. Take off it. We'll go there. And then I will now. Uh, what happens? It's okay. We'll now go to this place. We'll go to all D. And then paste it over here. And then we are now going to log into the EMP3 actually. The EMP3 I'm going to log in. 01 underscore EMP3. Log in with that table sign. Now you'll be getting a notification document. Click on it. So the sixth supplier and notification. In the meantime, if you go on and see in this place, fine, go there. So you may cancel it. No go there. Now the SQM admin is going to have a look at it. Click on that document. So the initiative is not yet created actually. The initiative would not have been created like the on the And then you know, go there, click on the procurement, and then he go to the supply qualification, and then he will you know, go to the manage initiatives on this one. Fine. The initiative for whatever is onboarding this supplier is not a ready. The sixth supplier. So go to the manage initiatives. And then here, whatever you want to the sixth supplier. So click on search now. Fine. You cannot see one, two, three, four is only available. Supplier onboarding clause is ongoing. Fine. Here, I'm not getting the sixth one. Sixth one is not a ready. Because such no the fifth one is not, sixth one is not, sixth one is not. So only when the approval takes place, the the onboarding initiative begins. When the initiative begins for this, so we had approval. Then only what happens begin. So you click on again now. <clears throat> it takes some time. Otherwise, you go to the more details. You go to the recent one, it will be getting updated over there immediately. And the more details, the recent notification will be getting updated immediately. More details will be giving you uh, immediate update. So our attribution is not not at problem. So we are still waiting for it. Waiting for the approval so the notification delay comes. In the meantime, what happens is you can even log into the EMP2 in this place. On the Opera, I'm not going to log into the EMP2. We don't log into the EMP2. So this is where this guy is going to get what? The internal responder will be getting a notification for doing an evaluation. So, so keep on that. You know, see whether it comes or not. So yeah, action required. And see. Uh, could not be action required. Supplier for P P zero one sub six could not be created actually. Uh, actually, I don't know why it's so fine. Some many people are modifying it. Fine. Parallelly, people are doing it. I don't know if you do like this. How I can work upon this? Eh? Very difficult actually. Uh, review the fix and uh, fix the supplier creation errors. So approval status. There is a error. Fine. Somebody has again fiddled around on this. Okay? And if I fail, then what happens? You are the loser, actually. Fine. I will not be able to demo it at all. I'm again and again telling people are going back and then doing something here and there, and all these things. You now see, he's now able to see it now. What is the error now? Supply creation. There is an error, there's no saying. I don't know what is the error actually. <clears throat> so you can cancel now. You can cancel. So you know got a error actually. Somebody has already fiddled around. Go there. So EMP3 has to get a notification for the approval. Ah, anybody has changed the spend authorized approval or not? I'm going to see if I right click on the duplicate. Right click on the duplicate. You will see the spend authorized approvals. Space. And here. <coughs> go to the space. Click on it. Go to the setup and maintenance. Here, go there. Check on it. Manage print authorizes of course. Manage. You want to understand how people manage to work parallelly? Yeah, everybody can uh, log in. Huh? One login, anybody, everybody can log. Manage print authorizes of course. The only thing is, if a record is locked, it will not allow. Otherwise, what happens if a particular record is open, it will allow you to do it. So, this is there for the people edit rooms. Okay, fine. Two always apply similar pair. Here nobody has filled around. 
will not see the supply registration approvals fine that is also going to cause a problem actually now go there manage supply registration approvals this i have made it as what automatic actually you know see whether anybody has filled or not if it is automatic it will not give problem at all you know that one very true so then see there is only one tool i have enabled actually so it is automatic only so here also they are not done anything so he has to get this notification so click on it again yes so get the notification so click on more details because it is now given a problem basically already in the emp2 so it is not coming to him at all emp6 no so you now go to the emp2 and then see what is the problem now what is the problem so spend authorized approvals you are converting prospective to spend authorized no 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 i am not converting anything at all i am not creating only a spend authorized so he had a notification on emp2 action required and you are okay so many guys are done it for the emp6 is coming these are world ones ah huh? uh, these notifications are world ones yeah yeah 55 minutes ago okay? one hour ago this is coming but we just saw that a sixth one na fine one point we will now have a look at what happens okay we will now go to this place for the right now this place we will now go to the supplier area and then see this stuff we will now go to the procurement and then we will now go to the suppliers and then there we will now try to modify the procurement we will now go to the managed supplier registration request let's see what i'm doing let's go search for spending up all the wrong no there and we say approved and then see now Sixth one is approved or it's got approved. Is the error actually? I click on the error. Open. You now see the error. What is the error here? Again, uh, the tax ID is error or what exactly is? So supply creation is now giving error. So, <clears throat> we'll have a look at it, and then if possible, we'll now try to correct it actually. So the error needs to be correct actually. Fine. If the error is a visible error, it will be great actually. The supplier number one two five three already exists. Oh God! Somebody has made the supplier numbering as what? They have changed the number actually. That is the problem. They have changed the start number. That is the reason. So can we change the supplier number? Supplier number is. A, People should not. I told that not to touch that area at all. So, one, two, five, three. They have now brought it back to something. No matter. So that is the reason that we are not going on. How to correct it actually? Uh, registration request is okay. Supplier number is an error actually. If the supplier number comes here for our editing, it will be great actually. No way. Not coming at all. Somebody has put it the wrong place. Somewhere other they always keep putting. So supply number is not coming in the bottom. So we cancel also. We have to again only what happens. I create one more supply because if I can do this, it will be great actually. But it's not allowing me to. Seven thousand four the request point. You now click on the seven thousand four request actually. So there, the error I clicked it. Then the supply registration request because since it's automatic registration request, everything is coming close. But supply number will be coming in the top. No point. Not coming at all. Okay, we'll now quickly do it. Open the port. We'll now make it as a ten thousand. Open the port. It's all okay. Manage the pair number. Somebody has brought it back actually. New MB percentage. Okay. Manage. Which supply? New MB percentage. Specific supply. Somebody has brought it back again. I will now make it a ten thousand. Ten thousand one. Now quickly create ten thousand seven thousand. So this time we should not do it at all. Where I put it. I will go to this place, same place. Where I put it. Put it. We will come back to this area. I will now put one more because we are unable to do anything about this. Okay, come on. So here, we will manage this. We will come back. So I will go to the main one. <coughs> And then yeah, we're going to set up the maintenance. 
that is the area where you should not touch at all i told in the beginning itself i don't do the supply numbering don't touch it but you can invariably touch and then see how it's functioning one thing uh number of equipment because if the number is clashing it will be very difficult on the equipment business what to say discipline is missing in what we everybody should work so that should be the idea actually if you know something that is no going to cause a problem you should not even touch that area but invariably they will not go over so keep on I'm not trying again quickly complete this one so you know go that is what p01 underscore sub underscore seven one so here i mean you need a corporation i don't know put my supplier again and the website is oracle now and oracle dot com the first name is what it is Nana seven and then Nana seven. Email ID is what some on the there that is not sir. Gmail dot com. Otherwise, if you have a problem, it will be taken. I know make a change perhaps. Some other mail ID now. Oracle dot com. Oracle dot com. Email dot com. These are all real IDs actually. The number. Is a nine-digit number, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Only people. So tax country, tax country is United States. United States is one thing. Taxpayer ID. So click on next one. If the supplier logs in the prospect, he will see the same details, is it? Or maybe I'm not sure about it. We make a check of it. Three zero six. No, I done it actually. Can try that. Oh, is the P zero six? Yes. One one zero zero zero. Morning and then we make it connections. Stop that. No, that. No, so like this. That's why people are playing. Then they come and play. So they click on okay, okay. Then we know business classification. I want to there. I want to add. I want to put the small business again. Okay, zero one small business. The certification agencies others. Certification. I will say certification agency is what you know. I will say month. Month is what twelve and then thirty-one. So we are not giving a next number. No next. And then go to the bank accounts and add the bank accounts. Bank accounts are mandatory zone. When we are registering, it is not required. But when he is registering, it is a must. You know what I mean? So bank is Bopa, Bank of America. Branch is New York. And then account name. Some account name. <coughs> Some name. Sorry. Yes. The currency is USD. And then if you have IBAN, it will be excellent. Actually, friend, talk to the financials and do it. Account name is what? Is basically checking. Checking is current account. So click on account name. Which you know that. And then go to the next now. You know, go to the products and services and then add. Go to the actual stuff and add. So do that. And then you know select this. This something you selecting it. And then click on apply and then click on. So the products are added. You know that for next one. So the questionnaire is going to answer. So he's going to say yes and then you know attach it to the form. The very important one. Compliance for the actions. And then go to add. <coughs> And then what do you choose file? What is the file? So the file gets attached. Which one can I? Backwards. Ah, uh, okay. Fine. So next section he goes there. In the beginning, okay. In process, and then this is yes, and then this is hundred percent okay. Yes, and then this is one. And then click on next section. Now. Go there. He will say forty-five lakhs. And then here he says, "Is it a business company?" He will say, "Yes, no." Yes. We are public. You know so this is the final session on this. We are not under. So click on previous section. 
or else okay fine yeah, in the previous section also go down so click on the previous section and everything is fine so click on register so go to your registration for that so your registration request is submitted now receive an email after registration request is submitted now let us wait that we should not get any error actually <clears throat> at least emp2 is getting error actually I don't know whether EMP one has got an error or not. Let's see this one in the EMP two was giving a what's called is an internal responder actually. There he got error. Okay. EMP one was not getting it. EMP three has to get a what's called a notification box. Click on it. Let's get more details. So I press the submit. So wait for some few minutes until before he gets it. <clears throat> Any questions from your side? Is there one is here? No, close it. So I'm in EMP one is okay. No Google space. So take one done with it. Come on up here. So we'll have to see this notification. No, no, one thing. Actually, it's not a question. Then, in practically, when someone will do implement this, mm. okay, then the even the questions which you have uh, copied mm. just and changed the code, that would also not have the, the screen will be blank and you have to create <laughs> everything. You will be having a blank instance. There is a vision demo database now. Vision has got 160 there questions. Is, there is nothing called standard. You have to create everything. You only have to create everything. <laughs> Because it's looking very easy when you are copying something. Mm. Copying is easy because we don't apply any of your brain at all. You just simply copy it. Ah, yeah, we got it. Mandichi, we got it. Request to approve. We got it. We got a request for approval. So you go there. He's not going to approve it. Hello, go there. So here there is one more issue which I am having now. The, the approver has to see the questionnaire actually. That is not visible for him now. So he's not saying details, company details, the site details are available, right? recommended actions. That's it. Straight away it comes to the approvals actually. How come an approver can approve without seeing his questionnaire actually? Fine. Why questionnaire is not visible? If you know anybody, but how to see the questionnaire for the approver, please tell us. No? Fine. So the questionnaire is not visible at all. Whereas it is visible for the internal responder, but not for the approver. This is very strange actually. Okay, now, the moment he approves it, the initiative gets created for onboarding the supplier. Actually. You know, click on you know what uh, sir, we have a registration request number 6005. It is yeah. a yeah, yeah, yeah. The request number is also coming, but uh, we do, I don't know whether he will be having an ability to click on it and see. You know, when there is a request number, you just see. You know, right? So, if you are able to see that, that will be great, actually, because approver has to see that now, actually. Right? The request number is coming. It has yes. Now, what happens if you go to the SQL admin now? And SQL admin, we are going. So, no, Nana, request number, he was talking about the registration number. The high 6005. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 6005 yeah. may be available somewhere. If it is available, yeah, it you was, just click on hyperlink. Okay. It was showing as a hyperlink. Yeah, yeah. So, it was showing a hyperlink. Huh? Then yeah, it's yeah. Okay, okay, good, good, good. That means what? That uh, even approver can do because I have not seen it very properly. So, if you can uh, click on that request number of 6005, what happens? It will be visible. Very good. Very good. That's good. That's why I was wondering why the approver is unable to see the what's called the questionnaire. It's now, not a requester, it's register number, registration number. That's not like, whatever it is. So go that on it. You will not go to the supplier communication. Now an initiative would have been created for onboarding the supplier. You know, go that on it. So go to the manage uh, manage initiative. Now the SQM admin can see the yeah, initiative has been created now. Fine. Supplier onboarding for this thing has been got created actually. It is in progress actually. So there's no period. So this will be getting only after approval. Actually. Now the first thing what the what's called the internal responder will do is what will now go there. Will now go there. He will now go to supply registration and have a look at it. So you know, go there. Now go to home now. First of all, you will now go and then have a look at it. EMP2 will now go. Go to the you will now go to the supplier. And then here he is a supplier administrator actually. So he will now go there. Click on it. You will now go to the what manage supply registration request. You know, go there. So internal responder will now see what he has responded actually. If I click on. Pending for approval. It is not pending, it is already approved. It is already approved. So manage supply registration, click on a search now. Fine. The seventh one will be there now. So all the things are coming out. Fine. So seventh one is here. I don't know why seventh has gone down. The six thousand five. He will now click on the six thousand five link now. Fine. So you are saying that the approver also is having this now. Fine. That's good. So he will now click on that link 
and then you know see what the supplier has responded like to go that round. so there is a potential match uh, revenue uh, review the company is having a potential matches and take approval okay it's okay there may be some matches here and there it's okay it is now clear great supplier is complete actually go down go down go down you know see in the bottom whatever they'll be having what everything you can see now you'll be seeing each and everything whatever you're going to address as business classifications contacts everything the internal responder is seeing maybe if uh, that guy also is able to click on that link 6005 he will also be able to see it so there is a questionnaire you will not click on the questionnaire details you will not click on the questionnaire details and uh, in the compliance he has responded like this you will not click on the next section he has responded like this and, uh, so you go down and then click on the next section he has responded like this so he has seen it now he is going to evaluate right? on the three things he is now going to make evaluation so click on that point so now what happens after having seen the supplier's response what you do is you will now click on the bell icon so the bell icon what happens is there will be a notification you are invited to respond to questionnaire for onboarding in the that so if you click on the summons one thing you are invited to respond to it so there will be a hyperlink for responding it so respond to questionnaire so he will not take an action from uh, the what's called the you know, the thing now but on the bell icon or otherwise what he will do is he will not click on done and then he will not go to the supplier qualification area and then he will not respond so he will not go that point <coughs> he will not go to the supplier qualification area and then from there he is going to make a response and what is the procurement and then he will not go to the supplier qualification from that he is not going to perform a response so click on it and then you know that you know go to the what manage questionnaires the questions which has come in to him now thank you on manage questionnaires you know have it right? not started draft right? he is not already showing you the bottom so for which he has to perform a response so select it and then you will not respond it thank you on the spot you will respond it you know select and then you will respond it you can even see view as a pdf also now based upon the three questions he has answered you will not say whether it is a fully compliant or compliant with the exception or whatever you know. will not say it is compliance with an exception now. you will not attach a yeah, document also why he is not fully compliant actually and then you will not attach a document also so the document will not tell you what exactly is done so his reasoning for not fully compliant actually so click on it so he will not say not fully compliant now we'll not go to before i submit it we'll not go to the first sqm admin now i got it more we'll not open it up and then have monitoring Open the seventh one. The seventh one. Click on it. You will now monitor this. Go to the actions and then go to monitor. So if you monitor it, <clears throat> now it says receive responses and accepted responses. We has already we have already received it, but only when the internal response responds it, then only it will now say it is received and accepted. Fine. We have not done it. So we will now go there. So he has to internally do it. Fine. Click on it. Now go to space. Go to space. And then he has not it, and then he has not submitted. So he is now he has received. This means what? He has received and then accepted it also. Right? He has now given a comment also. Right? The outcome has been given by him. Fine for the questions. Fine, click on submit. The question outcome has been given. Respond to questionnaire yeah. is submitted. So once when this is submitted, that will be getting updated on the SKM admin's login. What is SKM? If you click on refresh now, it will be getting updated on the SKM's login. Now received and accepted are coming together actually. So that means what? Only when the internal responder has responded, fine, it will. Now what happens? This guy has to what? Start to SQM admin has to start to complete the qualification. And if you go there, so the first thing is what? On the compliance part, he is not going to. Is a is a basically a QA one kind of qualification. It's not a quality assurance. It is a qualification area actually. So he has seen the code of conduct and then the compliance also. Right? But I am unable to see these two. Uh, what happens? The uh, figures basically. You please somebody tell me uh, the what happens? The supplier has submitted it. The internal responder has submitted it. These two documents I am unable to view. You will not see this. Now he is going to what happens? Uh, uh, perform the outcome of this. No point. He is going to what happens? The uh, QA is going to finalize the call. The what happens? Uh, the qualification area. The SQM admin is going to finalize this. He is going to finalize this. So you know finalize it. He is not going to finalize it. Fine. Click on well, no, make one more tap. You just can right click on the book. Now he is going to finalize uh, every QA. All the three QAs are there. Fine. Three QAs and then one model he has to finalize. Fine. Click on the procurement and then he will not go to the supply qualification area and then he will not finalize the first QA. And then the, remember, second QA is automatic actually. Second QA is automatic. So he will not go to the managed qualifications. Managed qualifications will not go there. 
<coughs> go there. Ready for evaluation, Swami Fang go there. So both the compliance as well as the finance viability has now come to him for evaluation. Because they don't go to the internal responder at all. So the compliance has come via internal responder. You will know, first of all, evaluate it actually. I will now click on that, what is called a hyperlink on the 19 actually. Click on the hyperlink on the 19. Is ready for evaluation. So click on it. And then here, it will not show everything. If you go to this place, then I have a look at it. Fine. It will not show all these things. Fine. And the code of contact, do you agree to this supplier? Supplier responded yes. And then if you click on the attachment, you will not see whether the attachment is there. If the attachment is there, it's like excellent. Yes, the attachment is there. Actually. Good, good, good. So here also, uh, this person's attachment is also there. Right? I, I forgot to see it actually. It's not, it's not coming. Actually. So the attachment given by the supplier as well as the internal response is available. Now he is going to what happens? Qualify this particular one now. Fine. The QA is going to qualify. You can go that you want. You know, go on and go the actions and then edit the qualification. He is uh, going to qualify the QA. Yeah. What will internal responder do? Internal responder has seen the supplier's code of contact. And then based upon which he has now given a recommendation. Fine. On an attached file. And remember, this is all visions way of working. In a real field, <laughs> you only have to do design all these things now, right? Vision has given us this thing, and then you can take it as an example, and then you can also make a replica in your field also for a chemical industry or a petrochemical industry or a power industry. So it looks this looks like a very good one, actually. So Nana, this will be the other user, the evaluation for quality. Yeah, there are three users are there in a SQM actually. One is the SQM admin, one is the internal yeah. responder, and then third one, one is the evaluator. The third one you have to come up. Right? Third but third one was the approver, no? No, no, no. Approver is a different one. Approver is a simple approver. He will not be having any roles also, it doesn't matter. He may be a top man, top management level man. So he may be a just up to work. The third one is the this QA person. First one is the QA admin. The second one is the internal responder. The third one is a evaluator. We are ready to come to that third one. And then the fourth one is the approver. You can say. The fourth one is the approver. Okay, these are the people who will be involved on this. Now he will not edit the qualification. Bank, like what? You know, edit. So here the outcome is what? There are three outcomes as well. Based upon the code of contact as well as the internal responders review. Fine. He will now give one of the outcomes. Fine. So internal response is now he is going to do what? Complete the uh, what's called evaluation. You know, say so, okay, is with the exceptions. So one question: uh, All the four people have the same kind of roles? No. For, uh, the, uh, except the approver, all the three will be having the same kind of roles. We already seen yesterday itself. Right? The roles we will be having a supplier qualification role. We will be having a what's called a sales uh, representative role. That role, no, fine. that role, and then afterwards, uh, I'll not show again. I can show you. So I don't know where. So now I'm going to the white paper on something. It is in there on the tenth page actually. So on the tenth page we have it. The roles. So supplier qualification we have to give it to what uh, the SQM admin and then uh, your internal responder and then the your uh, what's called your uh, evaluator. Fine. This one, this one, and then this one. Fine. This one and this one. Supplier admin. So these three roles are speaking on to this. The approver may have uh, whatever roles you want, he can become, fine, because he's going to only give a notification of role. Fine. It also gives him, depending upon the role played by him, but many a companies cannot have these type of four persons in a SKM area. You'll have only one maximum. Or sometimes what happens, the procurement officer itself will be a SKM admin also. So in the case, what happens, you have a couple of things. Like so it all depends upon the combinations of people available in the inclines area. Fine. You won't have this much of a rich uh, what happens, uh, strength available in the inclines location. Sometimes they will not have anybody. They will ask you to implement and then they will ask you also to support. They will not pay your company actually. <laughs> and you will get stuck like anything. You will not have any help at all. You only have to write each and every person. Okay. So go there. Now, uh, this guy is now going to enter the qualification. Then he is going to you know, There are three options available on this now. So there are three options that are available. So he will now give one of them. Fine. He has already given what with the, with the, what's called with the exception he has given. So he will also give the outcome. Fine. The outcome of a QA is also with the exception now. <clears throat> will say with the exceptions. That's it. He will now give a finalist. Fine. finalist. So he will go to finalize the QA's outcome actually. The QA's outcome will be finalized. You will set a start date. So you normally these uh, outcomes will be having governed by the dates. The end date is not an important fine, but end date is also normally given. Fine. Only for six months it is valid. Afterwards, what happens if you had to requalify them? So click on finalize. So one finalization is complete. 
And remember, the next finalization is on the financial visibility. But financial visibility is an added question. So what happens if you go there and refer it? It will not say it has completed everything. It has completed everything. Because there is an added one. And so that doesn't come into your normal rule set. The rule set has got only this. And then the equator is already automatic, actually. The equator is automatic. And so you go there. Not if you go there and have a look at the factory one, you will not see the qualification areas of this one. Equator is automatic. So along, when you go there, click on it. You will not go to the manage qualification. Manage qualification. The one we are there in the front there. So I will now say uh, all and then how will click on search. The QA2 is automatic actually. So you can now see that the QA2, <laughs> where is the one there? There is a financial visibility right? for the supplier seven actually. Financial visibility is, is ready for evaluation. It's not coming as ready for evaluation. Right? We are doing it. But uh, before doing this itself, what happens? It has now come. Whatever the environmental sustainability see, is active. So the environmental sustainability of P7C, what happens? It has now, they say this is active actually. It is not ready for it. doesn't go to anybody for evaluation at all. Evaluation is completed actually. Evaluation. So here, one and three only has to be evaluated by the SQM admin, remember. When one is done, and even if you are doing before two, what happens? You can be able to do it. Fine, you can very well go hard. So this is now we are going to do it. We'll select it, and then we are now going to what happens? Evaluate, evaluate. So he will now first evaluate whatever is manual, and then environmental sustainability is automatic actually. So click on evaluate qualification over there. So on this place, if you go and then see for the uh, financial viability, fine, go there. so the supplier has only given the on this is a QA2 fund, QA2 is automatic actually, and you will want the away average. You know, so here the supplier only will now give you what you are uh, you know saying 30 lakhs is my year year 10 hour, and then it is a public company. So for which based upon which he is now going to give this one of the four actually excellent or above average offer. So SK Madhvi will now give outcome of this QA. You know. So go there. You will now go and then have a look at the responses. So yeah, estimated is for all right. Then is your company is this now? Right? No, I think probably it will also come more, some more thing. So on this basis, he is not going to say, okay, it's an excellent company. So I will not go to space. I will not make the outcome of the QA is what excellent. Excellent. Is a QA3. So excellent financial administration. Right? It is excellent. Then this qualification area is also finalized. Fine, take on finalized now. Oh, I have not given the data. And then give the rate number. And then click on panelists. So the two has been done, and then the third is automatic. So the qualification areas are evaluated by you by the SPM admin. Now he has to complete it, complete the assessment actually. He has to complete it. So only when you complete the assessment, the supplier is onboarded. You will now select it and then click on it. You know, go to complete the assessment. Select the line of my URLs. So click on evaluate assessment. And then there is any, any internal response, there is a problem. What happens? You'll be able to see this. Number. I have done this once. And I don't know how to simulate it actually. The internal response also can be seen and then it can even review all these things are there. Maybe before he responds it, probably in this area it becomes something. I'm not sure about it. But I have done long time back, I have done it. Right? So a long time back I did it. Uh, the internal response can be seen and then it can be modified. All these things I have seen, but I forgot to mention. Just make a thing about whether he can. Internal response can be seen by the Q, uh, Q, Q, I think. Huh? He's admin, nice came, admin, not fine, he can see it. I don't know how to bring it now. Right? It's already it's accepted, so it's not. Ready. Now you will now evaluate the assessment. Fine, this is the final one. So after doing all the three qualification areas, one is automatic, two is manual, and then you know going to evaluate the assessment. Right? So well, let's go and evaluate assessment. So first evaluate the qualification, then evaluate assessment. So here, if you see the model outcome is what this is the outcome of right? it is a five star, four star, and then here it is now going to automatically enable it for sourcing it. Right? Model for sourcing eligibility. Right? Before depending on the if you give the 60th one, he will not be eligible for sourcing. And so that will be communicated to the purchase officer. And then the purchase officer, if he tries to put the supplier on RFQ or RFA or a contract, it will not come at all. And it gets automatically rejected for sourcing it. So you'll not go there. So you know, go there. You'll not drop it off. You'll not say, if you say uh, three star, it will not say supplier eligibility for sourcing is not coming up at all. With a one star, it will not allow with a warning itself. With a warning, it will allow. Right? There's a warning. You're eligible with the warning. And if you give no, what happens? It will be avoided. You cannot put it on RFA and then RFQ and then auction. And those documents you cannot put it. You go there. So you know, you go start. The start date is automatic here. Fine. There is no need to open. Normally it will be expiring in 30 days. So the expiration. So you go, how do you go to communicate? Fine. Share the supply with the summary as well as the qualification. Fine. Go there. <clears throat> you are the best ER. <clears throat> so some of the supplier is not done. Is it, what happens? You're going to finalize it. The entire what happens? The initiative is now completed. The initiative is now completed. Done it. Right. So.
also in Luna. So this is the way you are onboarding a supplier actually right? through SQM. So we can even manually register. Now, I'm not going to create a manual initiative for a preventive maintenance. I have, we have done it now, right? In our company, we have done it. So we will be having a three days preventive maintenance in which what happens is that the suppliers have to what? Clean all the uh, what happens, equipments and then uh, do the calibration of instruments and then uh, they will now refurbish some of the what happens, uh, uh, damaged ones and then uh, they will now lubricate uh, the, some of the what happens, uh, the gears and other things. Fine. Likewise, we'll be having around 30, 40 jobs to be done with the supplier actually. So for such a preventive maintenance, we will now initiate you. We will now create an initiative and then we will now do it now. So for which what happens, I need one more supplier, one manual supplier is there. Seventh supplier is automatically qualified. Let us now create a manual supplier. So let us now go there and then create a manual supplier. So okay. seventh supplier is now through SQM, he has been awarded. So we will now go to the procurement and then we will now go to the supplier qualification. Supplier qualification. You can also go via supplier qualifications. To create a supplier, we can do it. We will now go to the place and then here also we can do it. So go to the what's called create what is the thing? Not supplier qualification. Ah. You don't have okay. We are not given a supplier manager. Okay. The second one is having a supplier manager. No go away. Click on the So this guy has got a supplier manager, supplier administrator actually. Supplier administrator is for what SQM actually, but through supplier administrator also we can very well do it. Supplier. This is a supplier administrator role and not a supplier manager role. This is a supplier administrator role. You will not go there. You will not go to what uh, register a supplier. So there will be a creator supplier here. We are not going to register. And then here, the uh, registration means it will be going for an approval also. When you're creating it, for, uh, there is a create supplier. We're not doing it. Fine. We're going to cancel it. We're not registering it. Actually. We're not doing the creation. Fine. Create supplier is the best one. Fine. The registration will not go for approval. And click on create supplier. Create supplier is a manual process, and then nothing will happen on this. No approval. Sir. I will not say. For showing the preventive maintenance process, you are creating the supplier. No, no, no. Yeah, yeah. For showing that uh, initiative, I'm not creating the supplier. I am not having an initiative what? Having a preventive maintenance in my company from, uh, let us say, uh, today is what? Uh, today is 19. From 22nd onwards, 22, 23, 24 are preventive maintenance days. For which, what happens? I want a supplier to do all the activity for preventive maintenance. We have done it. And remember, I have done it way back in 1983 where there were no computers. Actually. <laughs> it's a very funny thing, actually. Uh, typing on a typewriter and other things, you used to supplement everything. So these things are all my Tax all. This is a mandatory function content. We are now creating the eighth supplier. Seventh supplier is a qualified supplier. Eighth is not a qualified at all. So we are going to club both of them into one activity now for creating a PM initiative. So we'll be having a what's called a breakdown activity also. Breakdown will be calling them on a phone and then they will not come and then on the spot we'll now offer the order actually on a breakdown. Go down. So go down. Then you spend out the I will not. So this is all okay, fine. The payments I will not make one of them as a default payment, not another one. So go back on it. I will make one of the payments as a default payment. Click on it. The default payment is not made. <coughs> then afterwards, what happens? You go to the address number. Click on address. Note that address. Eighth supplier is not getting paid. Please, please mute it. Not fine. You are not talking. You mute it. Go there. Click on plus. Not fine. You are going to get address. Now, for the seventh and eighth, we are now going to do it now. Right? Is a P01 underscore sub eight uh, name. So, country is United States. Country is United States. Does line one. I'm going to say uh, eight. I will not put the postal code here. One zero zero two zero. Then it's okay. And okay, when ordering and remit to is not enabled. And then here, over there, I'll go to sites. And then here, actions, no, not sites. My address is is updated. So we will not give the email ID also. I will not say n for now. Gmail.com. That is having an oracle dot profit, you will get. So go there. And then here, uh, address is now created. Thank you for saving close, which the address is now created. <clears throat> we'll now go to the contacts and then get a contact. The contact will be having a login now. The contact will be having a login button. Go to the contact and then you'll be having a login. So click on plus button. The contact will be having a login. So here, the first name is what? Samantha. Uh, name. 
Nana eight, and then the last name is Nana eight. Oh, that can give it more. So in administrative contact one, one can give it the action one or answer one that can give it more. So we know that there are no changes of it. So he will be having a login now. Right? So through login only you are going to control it. So create a user account for this. So email it is very important for end for Nana. So initiative will be responded through his supplier portal actually. He will be responding to supplier portal. So all the six roles are now added. Not only not. So that's it. Give a save and close by which what happens? The contact is now created. So his email ID. And then first name dot last name will be the what's called the username or the user now. So click on save and close. So the contact is created now. You go on and create a site actually. So for the seventh and eighth, we are now going to create an initiative for preventive maintenance. So go to the site. And then click on plus one. So address name, we drop it down. It will be coming from there. So that gets copied over here. So we now make it as what? Site. Okay, fine. Give us save. The remaining will be coming off. Sir, I did not understand what we are going to do for seventh and eighth. You'll know once when I start to do, you'll understand it. <laughs> okay. Now you may not be understanding it, but as and when I start to do, you'll understand it. For the seventh and eighth, I'm now going to create a preventive maintenance initiative and then shortlist the suppliers. Actually, there are seventh one. Seventh is already, already created. Seventh is already qualified. Eighth, qualified, not actually. qualified. So I'm going to club the qualified and then the unqualified suppliers for an initiative. Seventh is a qualified supplier for so and so things. For the product classifications, etc., etc., we are qualified and then he has agreed to our code of conduct, etc., etc. But for the preventive maintenance initiative, he may not be suitable. Got it now, fine? For the preventive, I have a preventive maintenance which is coming on the 23rd, 24th, 25th. He may not be suitable for that because his code of conduct and everything may not be suitable. Right? Got it? Fine, that way is going to work. Okay, now, no, no. no, when I start to work, you will understand. That is the one which will be done very frequently. Actually. So click on add now. Fine. I'm going to add it. And then let me add it. Drop it down. P01. This is also one of the, the P01. I will not come in. P01. The building has to come now. Come on. Why is not coming? I don't know what are the mistake I've done, right? I may not have done the oh god, see the what's called the common options and other things are not been set at all. Uh, so, uh, we are not going to make any purchase orders, fine, doesn't matter. Uh, ship location is what? Uh, oh god, there's a mandatory field. The mandatory field is not allowing you. So, we have to, what happens? You have to go right click and then duplicate. You know, to complete the uh, what's called the common options and other things also. So what is place? You know, compare the common options as far as common options is sufficient. It will be giving in the window. Common options for payments and procurement is required. So without which you are not going to be able to register the supplier. Actually. Click on it over there. You go to the search. It is common options. Common options. Uh, procurement and payments. Right. So common options for procurement and payments. Right. So you now create a new one. So first of all, manage common options for payments and payments. And the business unit is what self net. I'm going to apply and go to task. The P01 is the one. Because it's dealing with money now, so naturally we have to have the financials partially set at least. So we'll now give it liability. So I have used what uh, the vision's chart of accounts. We'll now choose it for the vision. Fine. Two, two, uh, one zero may be the liability account. Two to one zero is the liability. So everything must be a liability account. Accounts payable third party. So it will not go two to one zero. This one will not go. So click on OK now. We will not put this liability everywhere. So everything needs a liability only. Fine. I don't know the account numbers and so whatever. I am not copying the same liability wherever the star mark is there. The remaining are non-man. So the payable stream will not payable training will not teach everything on the supply. Realized again. Also, I'm not placing it. Not realized loss. Also, I'm not placing it. Here we'll be putting the built account, the boss, the built location. 
the build location you want, I will now say P01, I will now put the lock one. Fine, do not put lock zero, always put lock one. No, not, I'm sorry, here in the case, lock two actually. Now put lock two. When lock two, lock one is for the master or fine, always have a, what's called a deliverable org as a build organization. Go that one. So nothing else is mandatory here now. So it is accepted. Thank you. One save and close maybe you know, see with that. I will not give a save first of all. Give a save. It is accepted. It's great actually. It is accepted. It is not to go first. So this BU is now enabled for this. So you will now go there and then see this place that the BU is coming from. Build to BU is now coming from. Check on search. So check on search. Hey, come on. Go to the advanced and then make search. So click on search now. So it's a P01. Click on search here. So it's not coming. So that means what? This portion we cannot do it. Now we have to requery. So click on save and close and then requery. So click on it. I will not. What I will not give a cancel and then come out of it and then requery. Do that. I will not give a done. Come out of it and then P zero one and then create. We have got the eight supplier. So click on it. And then go to what manage suppliers. <coughs> the P01 and then enter in the point eight supplier and eight supplier that I go to now go to this place, click on it. Eight supplier and I will now go to the sites now. Sites and then here I go there. Uh, I have to bring it to edit mode. I click on edit and then bring it to edit mode. So I bring it edit mode. So go there and then click on edit mode. You must be able to give the build to ship to me. So go to the site assignments is very important. Now. Site assignment is important. So, so I'll now go there, go to the actions and then go to add now. Drop it down. Your B will be coming. The client B will be coming now. So here yeah, build to B also has to drop it down. Click on such it's not coming. So some other setups are also missing actually. And the payments option is missing. We'll now see whether the site assignments will not, if you don't do it, you cannot create a purchase order actually. And orders. Ship to location, you will go there, find P01. The build to location, you can give whether we want to see with this or not, we will see. So, lock two, I'm giving it a point. So, the build location also lock two. It is a child or not. If we can save it, it's great actually, without a build to. Build to location itself is not. Fine. So, give us save now, we'll now see whether it works or not. All that will be added. Okay. Site assignments is missing means what? You cannot create a purchase order. But at least what happens, we'll now see SQM works or not, we'll now see. So if it is not working, then you have to do all the setups over there and then only test it on. Click on. Click on. Now what I will do is I will now go to what? Go there. Click on it. I will go there. I will now go to the what's called my tools, and then I go to the security console, and then we will now change the logins of all these things. So he is not having a security console at all. Security console. So we'll now change the login of uh, both the users now. Seventh and eighth users, I'm going to make a change of login. Because they are going to respond through that. So what are the users? And then we'll now change the login. It is Ananta seven and then Ananta eight. Ananta, and then make a search button. We'll now change the supplier's login of it. We'll now change it to seven and eight. So click on reset password first of all. Make a medical login of So click on manually. And then go there. It's a welcome. One, two, three, and give it a welcome. So click on visit passport. Sorry. Okay. And then click on edit and then add the roles. So click on add roles. So here I will not add roles. Uh, we have to only order for the we have to edit and then change the username. The A7.n7. A7 and then seven give a tap and then give a save and close. So click on save and close. So since the site assignment is not there, you may not be able to create a purchase order actually. But uh, I hope that uh, SQM will work on. So, so click on the point. A7 or N7 is now completed. Similarly, whatever they now open up the eighth one, and then click on the reset passwords. So go to this place. And go there. Welcome one two three. Go there. And click on reset passwords. And then edit and change the name. Eight. 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 Eight.
You know, go there and then you know, log in as a sub director. You have to click log out. Sign out. And then, you know, log in as a sub director. So, you know, first of all, log in with our qualified supplier now, A7.n7. Is a qualified SQM qualified supplier. So, he might have got also notification on this one. Go to the supply portal, and then he might have also got some notifications on this. You know, see whether anything is there in the area. <clears throat> now, when the initiative is made, he has to respond to this uh, area only. So, no, no, nothing is requiring his attention. Actually. I will again repeat now. Uh, we are going to create an initiative for a qualified and a non qualified supplier for a preventive maintenance, which is going to take place for three days. So, during which these suppliers have to perform what? Calibrate the equipment, clean it, lubricate it, refurbish it, repair it, and then etc. etc. We normally, I have done more than 30 40 jobs, which has been done now. And then, based upon the response, we will now shortlist which can be done now. There may be 10 suppliers out of which what happens, I will be shortlisting and then giving it to the purchase officer than three suppliers. So the sub purchase officer will now what happens, uh, raise a requisition, right? raise a RFQ only for these three suppliers for performing this preventive maintenance. So this way it will be done. Right? So this is the way we normally do. Right? I was doing it uh, way back in 1983 when there were no computers. Right? So now it's all automated only. Right? So this uh, sort of initiative is available now also. Any doubts on this now? Fine. We'll now go for a break and then come back and then we will now create the initiative for the preventive maintenance section. Are you clear upon this now? So we have seen an automatic way of what happens a supplier onboarding, fine. So all the process now, fine. evaluations and then uh, assessment now. Yeah. I am not able to understand what is the preventive maintenance. Uh... Okay, you know you're not working in the industry at all. <laughs> no, no. That is the problem. Now, right? So oh, I am a manufacturing plant. Fine. The manufacturing plant. Uh, the equipment, if it's running continuously, it will be getting problem now. So what we do is we will now plan a preventive maintenance once in three months. So that what happens, uh, the equipment will be given a small rest. And then during time, what happens, we will now lubricate it. We will now repair all the condemned parts. Fine. All the activities will be done during a preventive maintenance. So that the, it doesn't go for a breakdown actually. To avoid breakdown, we will now make a planned maintenance actually. Planned preventive maintenance. So that is what it is in the industry. Can I give a small okay. example, Nana? Yeah, yeah, tell me, tell me, tell me. It's pretty simple if uh, not in industry, if you are having any vehicles. Yeah. Make so it. That required a servicing every six exactly, months. Exactly, exactly. Lubricating and changing some parts if required. Right. Yes, so yes, that yes, is yes. called a preventive maintenance. Exactly. You are giving so it a service. Start, we are selecting the suppliers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we are now going to shortlist a supplier, not selecting a supplier. There may be some 10, 15 suppliers. Through the initiative, we will not shortlist, okay, A, supplier A, supplier B, supplier C are very good for this preventive maintenance. We will now give it this list to the purchase officer. Now, the purchase officer will now send the RFP to all the three suppliers and then he will now see who is the lowest. And based upon it, he will now finalize. He will not talk to all X, Y, Z for the preventive maintenance. Maybe for a normal purchase, he may talk to any supplier. But for this particular initiative of preventive maintenance, he will now only talk to the shortlisted suppliers given by the SQM admin. The supplier qualification management admin would have given the list. So that only he will not take it up for further processing. Outside processing. Yeah. Huh? This is outside processing. This is a sort of a, not outside processing. He's going to come and then do it now. That guy will be, when the plant is going down, he will be along, coming along with his workers to our plant and then he will now perform the preventive maintenance. Yeah, yeah. Not outside processing. Outside processing is what somebody is doing something for it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Not outside processing. Another example is Maruti Suzuki. At the end of the year, they go one week, they shut down the plant and do this maintenance. Oh, oh, oh. When I Rangana is saying that Maruti Suzuki will be going for a one week preventive maintenance. No, right? So that way, and many companies will be using this. So same way, corrective maintenance can be done? I don't know. Corrective maintenance, if it is so, then what happens? You know, the process is the same one. The process is the same one. Whatever may be in the industry practices, we are creating an initiative for the particular activity and then we will not shortlist the suppliers actually. Would that we will not have a break now, it's a 650 and then we will not come back at 75 and then we will not create the initiative for preventive maintenance. I will not be back in 15 minutes. Good. Be here.